and of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I was giving Tesla its last rites. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Remember, I was telling you guys that the writing is on the wall. And people say, oh, you're just bashing Tesla. Stop the bashing, Mitch. <laughs> you see, they came on my channel doing it, bashing Neo knowing fully well that it is the most advanced, technologically advanced, superior, comfort, luxury, premium EV maker in the world and the only reason why the stock is down is because of shorting that's the only reason why but yet they came to bash I just give the facts listen to the facts again and it will amaze you in short registrations in China weekly update featuring BYD Tesla Neo Xiaopong and more in the latest update from the automotive sector revealed this Tuesday BYD led the ranking with over 45,000 units registered in China. Wait, say that again? It wasn't Tesla yet again? What happened, Mitch? Please, don't continue with this article. Oh, oh, we don't want to hear this. You must hear it. To save yourself from losing a tremendous amount of money. The week was marked by the Qingying Festival in the country, a three-day holiday that just took place, occurring every early April. Yes, the Chinese love their beautiful festivals. China domestic passenger car sales totaled 269,000 units between April 1st and April 7th, and new energy passenger car sales reached 122,000 units during the same period. As the latest figures refer to a holiday week in China, weekly comparisons lose their relevance. Although it is worth to note that penetration rate of the new energy vehicle stood at 45.4%. China's largest new energy vehicle manufacturer, BYD, registered 45,216 vehicles. So, <laughs> Li Hodo, which is also not a pure EV, registered 5,626. Hmm, the figure keeps going down for Li Auto. I wonder why. Aito, 4,189. Leap Motor, 3,247. Zeker, 3,200. Neo, 2,139. Tesla, 1,907. What? Say that again, Money Making Mitch? See, I told you guys it was coming. The writing is on the wall. People have woken up and realized it is inferior. It was the beginning. Yes, I give them that. But they never kept up with technology. Now they're saying, oh, we're going to reveal a robotaxi. They don't have LIDAR. What robotaxi are you talking about to kill more people? Now, Xiaopong, 1,230. Yes, you heard that right. We doubled them. Xiaomi, 1,093. And remember I showed you guys, oh, and Huawei's brand, Ito, registered 4,189 units. So the Shanghai-based EV maker Neo registered 2,139 units, followed by Tesla with slightly more than 1,900 cars insured, amidst a decline in market shares in China's critical automotive market. Critical. Why is it critical? Why did the writer say that? Because in America, no one is buying dog poop, rat poop. In fact, it's bat poop, guanu, guanu. And the only way Tesla will stay afloat is if they can compete in the Chinese market, which has a larger EV market. Because their grid can sustain it. Why can their grid sustain it? Because they have a lot of solar energy in China already and our battery swap stations. Tesla announced last week that it's introducing a limited time offer, zero interest loans as a fresh incentive strategy. And still people said, I don't want it. Take it back to your blasted country, man. 
According to data from China's Passenger Car Association, the world's biggest manufacturer, biggest, the world's biggest manufacturer, saw its market share dropping from 10.5% to approximately 6.7% throughout 2023. And it's going to continue to fall. And you all say, you're only bashing it. I'm telling you the truth to save you your money and put it where the rising star is coming. It's called Neo, and it's led by an emperor, William Lee. See, Wall Street keeps pumping it up. There was a dead cat bounce. Oh, they're going to reveal RoboTaxi, and people jump in again. Wall Street knows what they're doing. This is the game I keep telling you all. They're getting ready to pull the rug again. That dead cat bounce is to get people to jump in. Then it's going to tank again and again and again. There'll be a dead cat bounce. It'll tank again and again and again. Because Neo sub-brand, Xiaomi sub-brand, that other one I showed you guys yesterday, sub-brand, is going to kill it. Kill it! In March, Neo delivered 11,866 vehicles, an increase of 14.3% compared to the previous year. March saw a notable rebound in SUV sales for Neo, following a consecutive decline since July 2022 when SUV deliveries peaked at 14,066 units. You see, I want you guys, you also always tell me, Mitch, leave politics out of it. Just look at this small little clip of why you need to pay attention to politics in order to know how to invest. It's called critical thinking, my dear boy. Take a look at the clip and then we shall continue. And generally scream about this jackass lately. Now I know some people are like, Eli, why are you speaking about politics so much in these Daily Blob videos? And the reason is, is because what this senile old half asleep jackass does actually affects all of us, right? I don't know what it is about the technology world. People think they can just shut themselves into their little server rooms and nothing affects them, right? They don't have to deal with politics. They don't have to deal with psychology, sociology. Eli, let's just talk about latency. But the problem is these senile old bastards really do drive a lot of what happens in the technology world. Okay, welcome back, guys. Now listen to this. And listen very carefully if you want to save your money and invest it where you're going to actually make money. This is from the Daily Mail and I want to thank my brother Money Making Melvin in Florida for sending me this fellow subscriber. Brand new Cybertruck owner left fuming when his $82,000 EV breaks down with critical fault just seconds after pulling out of the lot. Elon, what are you doing bro? <laughs> what is he doing? You see, you see, this is why I say, don't be in a rush. We take time to release our EVs, but customer satisfaction is of paramount. This guy will never buy a Tesla again. In fact, I don't know what he was thinking when he went to buy the stainless steel cockroach to begin with, the guano, the bat poop. Elon Musk has touted the Cybertruck as apocalypse proof, but a customer found his newly purchased vehicle could not even make it a mile away from the dealership. Entrepreneur Thomas Remo shared a video of him picking up the $82,000 EV in Irvine, California, later finding it broke not even six inches off the lot and failed another 30 times after on the first day. Could you imagine that? Can you imagine that? And you want to know why I say this company is going to go bankrupt and they have a failed business model? I'm saying this to save you. Moments after Remo excitedly steps on the gas pedal, he was excited, the poor fellow. The center screen started flashing red and beeping to alert him about a critical steering issue. The vehicle automatically slowed down to about four miles per hour forcing him to pull over and return to the dealer. Remo questioned if the Cybertruck was Tesla's biggest lemon yet, but his disappointment follows outrage from customers who spent $3,000 on the attachable tent and found it looked nothing like Musk has advertised. Are you surprised about that again? Are you surprised? What they did was they went to Home Depot most likely and got a tent 
and said, this is your tent, guys. <laughs> Woo! And you see, the best is yet to come. Musk began delivering Cybertrucks last November, but it seems those living in the West Coast have the pick of the litter. Most of the sightings of the vehicle stem from the part of the US, from that part of the US. Reno, who runs Gear Down on YouTube, took viewers on the journey with him to pick up his new Tesla Cyberbeast. <laughs> I guess he was sorry he did that. He hit the accelerator, leaving the dealership parking lot, revving the dual motor that generates 600 horsepower and all seemed well, all seemed well. Until a few seconds later, the center dashboard turned into a blaring alarm. And Tesla fatbags were saying, please turn off the YouTube, don't let no one see this. But it was too late, you see. Remo joking said, I literally broke it right out of the gate. Elon, what are you doing, bro? How is it already broken, he says. The flashing lights indicated there was an issue with the vehicle stair-by-wire system. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If he wasn't recording this, they would have said, it is your fault. This is what they keep doing to customers. Which forced the Cybertruck into a limp mode and stopped it from exceeding four miles per hour. You see, this is why I told you guys that a Tesla Model 3 is equivalent to this. Take a look. Welcome back guys. It is equivalent to that. It is the four miles per hour with Dino pulling. The new technology eliminates the physical connection between the steering wheel and the wheels of a car by using electrically controlled motors to change the direction of the wheels and provide feedback to the driver. The downsides of the stair-by-wire system are maintenance and cost and if the connection is not perfect, drivers will experience what happened to Remo. And they will, and they will, because I told you guys, and I'll say it again, Peter Rollins was the brain behind Tesla. Elon is the face of it. He comes and he dances on stage and ooh, ooh, look what we got. And people think he's the one doing it. He's not. He's promoting poop and Peter Rollins is gone. With, when Remo, while Remo was able to pull off the side of the road and head back to the dealer, Arizona-based Matthew Chirillo was not as lucky when he was hit by the issue this month. Chirillo shared his experience on X, but has since deleted his post. <laughs> surprise, surprise! The post included a picture of his Cybertruck being towed, and Chirillo wrote, Love Tesla and my Cybertruck, but catastrophe failure. Poor fellow still thinks he loves it. With steering and brakes while on a road trip with wife and toddler. His wife and toddler was in this. You see, this is what I said. They are rushing the robo taxi now. They're thinking, oh, you know, maybe by next year we'll have it out and people will die sadly. I am sorry to say it, but this is what will happen. They don't even have LiDAR. He thinks it's chocolate. The steering wheel issue seems to plague newly delivered Cybertrucks in the last month. Another California customer shared on Saturday that he drove his vehicle one mile before it had to be towed. The person shared a post on Cybertruck Owners Club forum with an image of his newly purchased Tesla EV being hoisted onto a towing truck. However, the customer claimed that the dealer could not fix the issue saying Tesla really rushed these truck out. What a nightmare! It took them so many years and it was still a rush for them and they did not get it right. It is grotesque and ugly. It lacks innovation and technology. It lacks basic steering and braking. What was this man thinking? I'll tell you what he was thinking. He was thinking about Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, Pluto. Did I miss any? It's nine in our solar system, yes? 
A similar post on the forum was shared on March 5, showing the red blood colored screen with a large notification on the front that reads, pull over safely, critical staring issue detected. The driver's profile page showed they also live in California. My Cybertruck went directly from delivery to service. Very sad, he said. Excuse me, guys, and Tesla has been diagnosing the issue for five days. They still don't know what's wrong with it, the person said. <laughs> the issue reports about new Cybertrucks seem to be stacking up from an easily dirty exterior to misaligned panels and new base camp tent. <laughs> Where did you see the picture of the tent? Tesla began shipping the first batches of tents to customers, which was touted as a luxury camper, but some linked it to an unpolished homeless encampment. But I think Elon was right on this one though, because in California, they have a lot of homeless, a lot of homeless people in California. So people who buy this truck, instead of the homeless sleeping in front of their homes, they can set up this tent for them. The ship accessory appeared to be missing the allure of the company's promotional pictures, including an ultra soft mattress and enhanced camping experience. So they'll have to buy a mattress for the homeless because Elon is not giving this as he advertised. Advertisements of the base camp tent boasted that it would evenly attach to the back of the Cybertruck and a video shows two parents and a child fitting comfortably in the tent and screen windows to provide a view of the stars. You'll get a view of the stars, all right. <laughs> but new owners have shared videos and pictures of what appeared to be a tarp, a tarp extension on the back of their new EV truck with some saying it wasn't any different from a traditional tent and could fit a maximum of two people. You see guys, I have been telling you all this and I didn't want to go in depth, but you forced me to. The only reason why I'm giving you this information is to show you what I'm saying is absolute truth. Tesla is going bankrupt. They will go bankrupt and you will lose your money if you don't get out now. The robo taxi that they're about to unveil, unveil is not going to be ready for another five, six, eight, ten 10 years. Neo will have our robo taxis first and you will not hear of any problems like this. In the past, a lot of customers had problem with, their, with Tesla's driverless technology and they blamed it on the customer. I'm going to do a video on where they just had to pay a lawsuit where they could not hide it, it was captured. And the only reason why I'm doing that is to show you this company is going downhill quickly because of the failed business model. I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational as they ban me on Facebook for telling the truth. I hope you guys hit that thumbs up to help share awareness. Don't forget to hit the like guys to this channel and Neo. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might wanna think about doing so because on this channel, we use critical thinking. And we have that warrior mindset, like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys. <laughs>